Do you want to improve your English? Do you want to speak English more fluently? I understand you. The English language changed my life. When I first traveled to North America, I couldn't speak a word. All I wanted was to be fluent because I knew that my job opportunities heavily depended on that. So today, I want to share with you my method to seriously improve your English fluency. I call it the 5S method. So the first S is speak it. That's it, very simple. Speak whenever, wherever, however. That's right, it doesn't matter if you speak with an accent. In fact, an accent is just an indication of your country of origin. That's all. If you come from France, you may have a French accent. If you come from India, you may have an Indian accent. And it's perfectly fine. Actually, be proud of it. I too have an accent and I taught English to hundreds of people. It really doesn't matter. Forget how people may judge you. Forget what people would think of you. You won't get fluent by thinking, I sound dumb. I don't know the right words. These thoughts are only holding you back. All of this simply doesn't matter. Just speak as much as you can. I remember I spoke with such a thick accent that I sounded like the classic Italian stereotype. Buongiorno. Yet I remember walking into malls, talking to people and say, hi, hello, how are you? Just to practice. It's okay, trust me, they don't buy it. So don't give a damn. Now, this will help you get loose and relaxed when you're speaking. But this alone won't improve your fluency. In fact, the next ask is say it right. You can see your pronunciation over this line. Your accent is right here in the middle of the line. The more you get to this side, the more you'll distort the way you pronounce words. The more you lean on this side, the more you'll sound easy to understand. For example, this is my natural accent. Can you understand me? I bet you can. But the more I stress my accent, the more I lose my pronunciation and the less credible I am. And we humans, we only trust what we can understand. With a bad pronunciation, you might end up missing on big job opportunities and being severely underestimated. I've seen it with my own eyes. So don't worry about your accent, but focus on saying it right. As you can see, your pronunciation is crucial, my friend. And on my channel, I'm posting videos like this every single week. So if you think these tips are awesome, subscribe now. And speaking of it, how can you make sure you only learn the right pronunciation? That's been a big problem for me too. And to solve it, I use the next S. Scan it. When you're watching something in English, don't just limit yourself to observing what's going on. Look at all parts, carefully and loudly. I used to watch Family Guy, for example. Hey, can you make us X-Men? What a surprise. Oh, I love that show. I'd watch it during my lunch breaks with my headphones on. Thanks to the headphones, I could focus on every sound I heard. And every time I found an expression I liked, what a surprise. I first repeated it in my mind over and over. What, what a surprise. surprise. What, what a surprise. surprise. Then I was repeating it out loud in front of the mirror. Also, the majority of English learners, when they find a new word, they just open Google Translate. When I found new words, I repeated them in context, trying to replicate the same voice, the same emotions. I did this religiously every day for months. During the day, I was learning new words, and during the evening, I was practicing with other people. Also, another misconception, reading doesn't help your fluency. I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but it's simply not true, believe me. Read this text, I'll give you a few seconds. I'm sure you read it in your mind, right? When you read things in your mind, you tend to make up the way the words sound. For example, how did you read this word? The real pronunciation is jewelry. Did you read it the same way? As you can see, 
this brings you further and further away from being understood. So listen first and read later. Now, how can you pick up new slang and vocabulary other than movies? Introducing the next S. Sing it. This is what my fiancé did. She would listen to English song and try to sing along. She did that for years as she also regularly attended karaoke nights. This method, singing, improves your fluency so effortlessly. <clears throat> effortlessly, 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 all right. This method improves your fluency so effortlessly that you don't even realize it. One day, you just start speaking with a very clear pronunciation, like out of the blue. I remember the first song I tried. It was Lose Yourself by Eminem. His balls are sweaty, knees weak, arms are sweaty, there's vomit on his sweater already, mom's spaghetti. This song was way too difficult, but I tried it anyway. Daddy, what he brought down, the whole crowd goes so loud. I tried, and I tried, and I tried, and eventually, I improved to the point I could keep up with him. Caught up between being a father and a prima donna, baby mama drama screaming on it too much for me to wanna stay in one spot. Even if I didn't have any clue of what the words meant, this exercise gave me the basis for a clear and easy to understand speech. So you wanna speak, you wanna say it right, and you wanna have fun. That's how you get good. Now, the last S will really surprise you because it's sell it and it's the fastest and smartest way to get fluent but what do i mean by that well here is an example let's say that your goal is to run faster the traditional way is to start running and the more you run the more you get used to it and the faster you get hopefully alternatively you may get one of those little weights you are attached to your ankles and get used to running with those weights on. It doesn't take long, and when you take them off, you'll be running as fast as a gazelle. Now, when it comes to learning English, bring it to the max level. When I was living in Australia, for example, I already wanted to open a business. So instead of studying at the usual school of English, I went to study advanced management. I was learning how to sell, how to close, how to do marketing. And it was just like having those weights on my ankles constantly every day. If you do that, when you go back to the day-to-day -day talking, of course it's easy. Would you be nervous? No. Would you care what other people think? Of course no, who cares? If you want to learn English, learn how to close, how to sell, go sell something. Because trust me, after receiving 10 rejections, all that fear, all that anxiety, all that nervousness, well, it's simply gone. If I asked you to watch something in English without subtitles right now, here, on the spot, how confident would you feel? Would you be able to understand and follow the story? Or would you feel completely lost. If so, I made this video right for you. I show you every step you want to take to finally get rid of the subtitles once and for all. So, see you in there. Cheers.